there. I'm just here with my lovely broom as we congregate for the funeral for this Miami Heat team. After the Bucks just got done sweeping them. Before the series, I picked the Bucks to win in five. Every Heat fan wanted to clown me. Oh, what a clown! You think the Bucks are winning in five? Heat in seven. Heat in six. They can't hang with the Heat. Really? Y'all might have talked me into thinking, you know what, maybe these Bucks will be gentlemen. We'll give y'all a gentleman sweep. But no! We're not gentlemen! We're mini mania! We're mini mania! Mini magic! Giannis, we're not gentlemen. We're dogs! Like PJ Tucker said, we're dogs. But the way from the Bucks, because this isn't just about the Bucks. This is also about the funeral for this Miami Heat team that we're now given after all that chatter. Everyone wanted to say, oh, the Heat are winning this series. It's the same as they last year. Giannis can't beat the Heat. Well, let's take it back to where it started. Because the funeral, it didn't just happen after the sweep. And it's been a culmination of things. It first started when after the bubble... When Tyler Hero was frying Brad Wanamaker and Kemba Walker and such, with no fans in the stands, where he started to just focus on his Instagram algorithms before his basketball game. That's where this death of this Heat team started. Then it continued when they thought, hmm, Jay Crowder, the guy that was spraying trays, they had to give all types of lunch with those trays he was spraying. We don't need him back. We can replace him with Trevor Ariza, who hasn't been good in three years. And, you know, it continued throughout the season. They were pretty bad, but, you know, they had COVID issues. So, you know, maybe we're okay. And they got actually a trade offer. Hey, yo. Well, what are you thinking about old Hero with Duncan Robinson? Hero with Duncan Robinson! How? Never! I don't care that it's James Harden, best scorer in the league. We're not giving up our hero, Tyler. And Duncan Robinson, he's a combination of two of the best Spurs players ever. Why would we give him up for James Harden? Well, he didn't want to make that trade. All of this has culminated in to the funeral that we are now reciting for this Miami Heat team. But... Do I have to give some credit for Iggy Dulles? Because it's possible this is his last game in the league. He's been talking about retirement for a couple years now. And now that this Heat team has officially passed away, it's possible that he will walk away from this game. And you do have to give him his credits. Best hands I've ever seen defensively. And he was fighting out there. He was fighting. He was trying. He was trying to get his blocks off the backboard. All, all serious when he'd go in there. He was still fighting. He was hitting some timely threes to try and bring him back. A couple of them at least. But it just wasn't enough. Respect to Iggy Dallas, but it just wasn't enough. And then, of course, Drogic, Dirty Drogic, tried getting into a scrap with Game 80. Oh, you know, we looked down by 11 in Game 4. Gotta try and fight their best player. Best player in the league at this point, Chris Middleton. Oh, Drogic. Chris Middleton's not having any of that. If he fights you, it is nothing to gain. Yeah, you can fight him. Your, your team's already dead. The funeral's already being given. We've already pulled the brooms out on y'all. If y'all were in the stream, the bull brooms that were pulled out in the third quarter because we know that that team did not have the fight, so that game was a wrap. We already put it in our chicken wrap and ate it for dinner before Dirty Drogic started trying to tussle with K. Mitty, that Mitty man. Rest of it, Brooke Lopez, no one where to be under the rim to just, hey, bam, take your Mitties. You can take them every once in a while, but you're not going to beat them with us. beat us with them. And... Jimmy Butler, not sure what happened to him. Respect to him and what he got done last year, but maybe all those Tom Thibodeau minutes that he played early in his career. Y'all know Tom Thibodeau players. Yeah, you know, they, they fizzle out because they played all those minutes. And he had a lot of years under Thibodeau where he was playing 40-plus minutes a night. Maybe he's getting tired. Maybe the COVID got to him, you know, after he lost a lot of weight. Maybe he just didn't have the energy left. Who knows? But the Heat, se heat season, this franchise, y'all had a good run. But it's over now. It's Bucks season. That's up next. Bucks and six. Drop, let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment. Hit that like. And subscribe. Please. Yes, sir.